Hey folks, this is Mark with WarriorWatchUSA.com and I have the black motorcycle model under the Retro Future line, YFH-03002B. Now, like I said to you before, this is part of the Retro Future line. The Retro Future, uh, this model is part of the motorcycle line, so what they try to do is they got a lot of examples of, uh, of motorcycles built in the 1950s and they used that as an inspiration for the design of this watch. Obviously, it's not a motorcycle, so uh, they took a lot of the, the design elements of it and they added it onto the dial. So uh, let me show you some of the uh, some of the cool stuff of this watch. First, by showing you the buckle. Notice there's the logo right there, and two buttons on both sides. You have to press it to unlock the clasp. Refold it so you hear a snap, and then it's refolded in. One thing really nice about this watch is this band. Uh, not only from the front, check it out on the side. And you'll notice that there's a lot of these uh, these round parts, which I think is really nice. The way uh, the inner, the, what's it called? The inner, the inner length between the links, they're absolutely gorgeous. Take a look at that case. Notice how they have a really smooth look, and they have this part on top, which I think is quite clever. Another thing that I'd, I'd like to show you is how well the case from the front looks with the dial itself. And sometimes it's best to look at this from the side like this. Um, this watch is a mechanical watch, folks, and uh, what that means is that there's no battery in here. It works off a spring. When, we, when you talk about your grandparents or whatnot, talk about watches, they're talking about these type of watches, and they're called mechanical watches, okay, folks? You'll notice that the oscillating weight, which is the thing, uh, you see how that, there's a thing that's semi-elliptical that's moving? That's called the oscillating weight. That's attached to a spring, or the attach the rotor to the spring and the spring is behind the watch so the power source of this watch is in fact a spring because it's a spring um, it's not like a battery which has tons and tons of power in that um, because it's a spring it only has a certain amount of uh, battery life oh not battery life uh, they call it power reserve charge inside the battery inside the watch and so um, <coughs> What this power reserve meter does right now, right? Right now, it's just above zero. So we know any minute now, this watch is going to stop. So I'm trying to talk a little faster. So um, you'll notice from this motorcycle uh, motorcycle watch that um, they use a lot of these little plastic pieces. You'll notice that right there by the four, by the two. And they also use that around the exhibition uh, exhibition dial right there. The, the, uh, sorry, the exhibition hole. Uh, what they what they try to do was, you know, when you take a look at a motorcycle, you see its engine, but it's covered by a piece of either plastic. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's covered by something, and that sort of idea has been uh, is the reason why Orient placed those things over there. If you notice the power reserve indicator as well as the second hand over there, they look like uh, speedometers and uh, the gauges that you'll see inside a motorcycle. And so these are some of the inspirations that they received. Now you're probably wondering why is it so three-dimensional looking. Let me show you. From the side of the watch, I think this angle is much easier to tell how three-dimensional it really looks. Look how deep it is. And you notice that, and you may be able to notice that 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, those indexes are printed right on the crystal on the inner side. And so that's why it gives such a, it has such a I don't know if you can see, but you should be able to see my finger in the back of this too. It's completely, it's a semi-skeleton, but it's completely a skeleton in this portion right here. So, a lot of things going for this watch. Okay, um, before I before I was talking about uh, this watch working off a spring, the power reserve indicator is basically just a fuel gauge for the spring. So you can think of it this way. A few, uh, the power reserve can let you know exactly how much more gas or power have left in the spring. Right now it says, well it's hard to see from the camera, but it's like just above zero, which means that in around probably 10 minutes this watch is going to stop. Alright, let me show you how to adjust the time using the crown. The crown is hexagon shaped, as you can see over here. <laughs> I think it's they use that for the uh, kind of to uh, help the uh, design of the motorcycle. and so. What you have to do is first unscrew it. Notice how I unscrew it first. After I'm done unscrewing, you'll feel uh, you feel some sort of release. At that point, pull it out one step, and now you can adjust the time. Okay, folks. And once you're done, put a little pressure in and then rotate the crown until it 
patches and then until it's smooth all the way down. Alright folks, so this is the motorcycle model for the retro feature, YFH.